Chinese tech companies are losing businesses, not just in India, but the world over. They are being banned. But China wants to dictate the future of the internet. Beijing has come up with a data security initiative. What it wants to do is set the rules for global data security, which is a bit rich coming from China. It wants to lecture the world on how they should not misuse data. I know it's hard to believe, but take a look at this report. Imagine Pakistan launching a global anti-terror push. Imagine Nepal hosting a global forum on sovereignty. Imagine China talking global data security. The last one would be really funny if it weren't true. Just when you thought 2020 couldn't surprise you any further. And China has exhausted its quota of exports. We now have Beijing unveiling a global data security push. Yes, data security push. We had to repeat those words. What is the initiative all about? Apparently, it aims at establishing global standards on data security. Last we checked, China was the biggest threat to data security. Why else would India ban 224 Chinese apps? Why else have the US, Australia and the UK closed their doors on Huawei? Washington is also launching a clean network program. One that aims at making the market Chinese technology free. 30 countries have reportedly joined the initiative. So basically what China is doing is countering the global boycott of Chinese tech and painting itself as the torchbearer of data security. Beijing's data security push has eight points each one more ironical than the other. China is asking companies not to steal data from other countries using technology. Maybe it should start by telling this to Huawei. China also wants tech companies to stop obtaining user data illegally. Why not tell that to TikTok first? China says its initiative opposes mass surveillance of other countries using technology. Remember, we told you about China's espionage ring? Beijing says the countries signing up to the data security push should avoid asking companies to provide data without permission. Well, here's something you should know. China's national intelligence law requires companies to hand over data when asked. Support, assist and cooperate with the state intelligence work, it says. This irony-laden initiative was announced by China's foreign minister, Wang Yi. Mr. Wang took the opportunity to criticize Washington. Countries are using security as a pretext to prey on enterprises of other countries, he said. Wang went on to declare that such blatant acts of bullying must be opposed and rejected. Well. We have a question or two for Mr. Wang. How many countries do you think will sign up for China's initiative? The last thing the world wants is another made in China global push. Bureau report, we own. World is one.